Hi there. Now for this video I'm just dealing with part B of this question. The answer to part A where we had to express this in partial fractions was this answer here 1 over r plus 2 minus 1 over r plus 4. So if you'd like to have a go at this one and you haven't had a chance to do it already just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. Now in order to do this this is using what we call the method of differences. If you're not used to this do check out some of my video tutorials on it. So what we've got here is the fraction. Okay let's just copy it down. We've got 2 over r plus 2 times r plus 4. And we found out in part A, this is by the way summing from R going from 1 to N, we found out in part A that we could split this into two partial fractions. So this is exactly the same as doing the sum of R going from 1 to N then of the two partial fractions here. So it's 1 over R plus 2 minus 1 over R plus 4. Okay, so we've got that. Now, what we do in cases like this, and we know it's the method of differences purely because you've got a minus between these two terms here, okay? Difference, okay, being a negative. So that's always a good clue. So what we do is we substitute 1 through here and we work downwards normally. Now I haven't got much room here because I don't want to scroll the video so I'm just going to move over here. okay? And when r is equal to 1 we're going to get for this term here it's going to be 1 third. And then for this term here it's going to be minus 1 fifth. And then we put r equals 2 through here and that will be plus and we'll get plus a quarter and then this will be minus one sixth. And what we're looking for is some kind of pattern that's coming through here um, where terms cancel one another out. But I can't see anything at the moment. So we'll do another term. Okay, we'll let r equal three. And I can see that we're going to get one fifth minus one seventh. One fifth minus one seventh. Now I can start to see that this term here is going to cancel with that term. So let's say we just cancel that one out for the moment then with that one up there. So this seems to suggest that we will have a pattern coming on then. And when we let r equal 4 we're going to get one sixth here minus one eighth. And you can see now hopefully that this sixth here is going to cancel out with that minus six there. So that's gone with that. So I can see that what's going to happen then is this minus one seventh is going to cancel out with the next term here. And the minus one eighth will cancel out with the next one down there and so on. OK so uh, let's just put and so on down here and we'll pick this up now as we go towards the nth term. So let's take when r equals n, the last term. So when r equals n we're going to have plus and it's going to be 1 over n plus 2, 1 over n plus 2 and then minus 1 over n plus 4. Now I know that this term here is like having this term say it's going to cancel out with the term one more line above it. Okay, So let's get in the next pair of terms and that's when r equals n minus 1. So when r equals n minus 1 here you're going to have plus 1 over n plus 1 and here you're going to have minus 1 over n plus 3. So that's when r equals n minus 1. The term before this would be when r equals n minus 2. And when r equals n minus 2 that's going to be 1 over n. And the next term here is going to be minus 1 over n plus 2. So you can see hopefully that this term here cancel with that term there. And if we work our way backwards all the way up like so then this term here would have cancelled, let's just mark that in, this term here would have cancelled with the term in that position. And also 
this term here would have cancelled with one in that position. So what are we left with? That will be our total. So what we've got then is that this equals, okay, it equals the third plus the quarter, which is seven twelfths. And then we've got just these two terms left over. So it's minus one over n plus three, and then minus one over n plus four. And hopefully then we should be able to clean this up and get this result. Well, I can see the 12 and the n plus three and the n plus four all in the denominator here. So it's just a question of writing this all over that common denominator now. Let's just make that quite long. So we've got 12 bracket n plus 3, n plus 4. And on the top here then, we're going to have 7 times n plus 3, n plus 4. And then for this next term, we're going to have minus 12 times n plus 4. And then for the last term, it's just going to be minus 12 times n plus 3. And if you expand this out, okay, what we get is that this comes to 7n squared plus 49n plus 84 minus 12n minus 48 minus 12n and minus 36. Okay, so hopefully you can check it against that if you're having problems. And then that's all over that denominator there. Okay, and when we clean this up, we can see that we're going to get the 7n squared and we're going to be just left with 25n. The other terms cancel out. So I can pull out n as a common factor and then I've just got 7n plus 25 and that's all divided then by 12 times n plus 3 and then n plus 4. Okay, so the difference method.